Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said, don't allow the devil to get your heart off track with me. We have to stay focused with God. We cannot allow the devil to sidetrack us. We have to stay focused on the Holy Spirit. Whatever God is telling you to do, stay focused on it. You got to realize the devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy. And we must stay focused on God. Whatever is distracting you, whatever's in your way, pray and say, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, touch me. Lord, heal me. Lord, make me over. Whatever you're going through, pray about it and say, Lord, touch me, heal me, fix me. Whatever it is, sometimes... Get on your knees. When you're in the house by yourself, your kid's not around you. It's just you and your husband say, baby, let's pray. Let's pray about the family. Let's pray about, you know, the church. Let's pray. It's, it's good to pray together. Then talking about foolishness, pray for each other. Ask God to touch your family. Ask God to touch the church. Ask God to touch people that are sick. The Bible verse that I want to read to you is Ephesians 4 and 27. It reads, don't give the devil the kind of foothold in your life. We cannot allow the devil to take our mind off of God. We have to make sure we keep in God first. You have to make sure God is in your life. And I'm going to tell you, distraction is going to happen, but we have to stay prayed up. And listen to me, stay prayed up. Don't let the devil steal your joy. You're going to have to learn how to give your heart, your mind, your soul to God. If you say you love God, you keep your eyes on God. Stop looking behind you. I want to tell somebody this. Stop looking behind you and stop looking beside you. Keep your eyes on God and watch what God do for you. Because when you keep your eyes on God and you stand prayed up and you fasting and you allowing God to work on you, he going to work on you. He going to work on your family. He going to work on the things that you have problems with. Some of you have a lot of problems. I'm seeing in the spirit. You have a lot of things that's going on in your life. You can't pay your bills on time. You can't keep certain things in order in your life. God going to help you. But you got to keep that devil out. Keep that devil out your house. Keep that devil out your relationship. Keep that devil and stop allowing him to sidetrack you. You be trying to do things and next thing you know, you're doing worldly things. You say you ain't going to do worldly things. Next thing you know, you're, on, you're smoking with your friends. Next thing you know, you're wearing lingerie outside in the street. You say you're done with prostituting and you're still doing it. So please, God said, don't allow the devil to get your heart off a track with me. We got to make sure we keep our focus on God. If you want to make it into heaven, you got to make sure you doing everything in the will of God. So please keep your eyes on Jesus and know that God wants the best for you. You got to realize the devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy. And we got to make sure we doing our part as Christians. We call ourselves Christians, but some of us are some fake Christians, which means we playing with God. One minute you going to church, the next minute you going to the strip club, the next minute you going to church, next minute you going to smoke a cigarette. If you going to serve God, give God your full heart. And I'm saying this because I was a sinner before too. And I'm telling you, you can't play both sides of the field and think God going to bless you. God ain't going to bless no mess. He not going to bless no foolishness. He not going to bless your funk. And I'm just being honest with you. When God told me, he specifically told me, you got to get yourself together. If you want me to do anything in your life, you got to get yourself right. I had my children with me. I was going through so much. And God said, before I do anything, I need you to pray. I need you to worship. I need you to bow down. I did exactly what he told me to do. And after I got finished doing that, God allowed me to see myself walking out the door to be free. Ain't nothing in your life that you will always thank God for. When God say that I have opened the door for you to be free, it's time for you to give thanks to God. God ain't had to do that for me, but I asked him. I said, God, if you get me out of this situation, I will serve you 
for the rest of my life. And I, and I mean that. Some of you, you say you do things for God. You ain't doing it. You just doing it just to show off. When you do something for God, make sure you put your whole heart in it. Don't just do it for money. Don't just do it because you want to check. It, listen to me. I want to say this to somebody. What you do for God, God will bless you. I have got in so many unexpected checks before. What I do for God, I don't need no paycheck. Yeah, it may help me pay my bills. But listen, preaching the word of God, I love doing it from the heart. Money going to come. It ain't about the money. It's about these people's souls. If your soul is burning up, if God say, if you want, listen to me, if God say two things to you, are you going to serve me or are you going to serve the devil? Or you going to do what you want to do? Some of you that's watching me will say, I want to do what I want to do. You need to give your life to God. Somebody watching me, you still living your life the way you want to. You need to give your life to God. You need to give God your life because we are living in the last days where people are still like, Lord, I just don't know which way to go. I have been there in my life. I told y'all before I am a living testimony. I was a sinner. And before I gave my life to God, I was having sex. I was doing things of the world. And God spoke to me. I was sleeping. I was in a deep sleep. And God told me specifically to change my life. And if you don't change, you're going to die. And I didn't have a lot of time. I didn't have a lot of time. And let me tell you, it was one time I was having sex. And the Lord told me to get off the person. Having sex, having fun, doing everything. And let me tell you this. God said, get off of them. I went to the bathroom. I cried. And I repent. Because I'm going to tell you this. I'd rather tell you the truth than lie to anybody on here. I don't care how my testimony sounds. If I can save a soul from going to hell, if I can save you from making the mistake that I did over and over again, sinning is not, listen to me, sinning is not a joke. You can say no. You can say no if you don't want to have sex. Some of you don't want to say no because it feel good, it look good. Oh, I just want to try it. Don't let sex be the end of you. Don't let sex take you out of this world. Allow God to fix you. Allow God to help you. Allow God to work on you the way that he wants to. Don't allow the devil to steal, kill, and destroy your mind because you giving him everything. Listen to me. Rebuke that demon and tell the devil, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And you go back to where you belong. And you tell that devil, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. You got to tell that devil, every curse, every yoke that you try to bring to me, I break it with the blood of Jesus. And you cast that demon out your house. You cast him out your kids. Hallelujah. Your shepherd, I thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. You cast him out. I'm telling you, you got to be strong in the Lord and say, Lord, I, I, I ask, Father, that you just help me and restore my heart. I ask, Father, that you restore my mind. I ask, Father, that you restore me back together. Because let me tell you this. When you casting the devil out, he will have you feeling like you done lost everything. That's how he made me feel. When I was going through everything at one time, it hit me one time, y'all. When I was going through domestic violence, when I was going through a lot, I was going through a lot at one time. I felt like my family wasn't there. I felt like the dude that I was dealing with wasn't there. I felt like I just I would, I just lost myself. And I prayed and I said, God, you get me out of this. I will serve you for the rest of my life. And this is what I do. I get on here every day faithfully and I tell you the truth. But I'm telling somebody today, God said, don't allow the devil to get your heart off track with me. Keep your heart on God. Stay focused on God. Give God your heart, mind, soul. Stay focused. Whatever you doing, make sure it's always with God in it. Whatever you do, put God in the first. Always pray. And when the, every day you wake up, pray and say, Lord, bless me today. Lord, 
Fix me today. Whatever you're going through, give it to God and allow him to work on you. Never be afraid to talk to God about anything. Remember, when you talk to God about what you're going through, he can help you. He can free you. He can deliver you from any yoke that is just trying to destroy you. Tell God what you're going through and he will save you. So don't be afraid. I love you all. I just want to say be encouraged and be kind to one another. I got to say this to somebody. Be kind to one another. You want God to bless you, but you need to be kind to somebody around you. God will bless you when you start being nice to others. You hear me? This is somebody's word right here. You got to learn how to be kind to somebody. Be kind to somebody around you and God will bless you. And I want to say this to somebody. Don't give up, but pray about all things. Give it to God and just let God hear your heart. Go back to Jesus and know that he will free you from every yoke, every curse, every rejection, every fear, everything that you're going through. I love you. Be encouraged. Stay blessed.